uh, ladies and gents I uh, hope you're well so today I'm going to be doing a video using Julia so this is my first time using the Julia um, using the Julia program okay cool so yeah on a side note guys I would really appreciate it if you do subscribe to my channel so if you like what you see uh, please do subscribe okay cool so we're going to be looking at linear algebra and um, I'm going to do the same um, methods that I used um, on a previous maple video so I'm um, gonna put the link in the comments the maple video in the comments okay cool so yeah let's get started so using uh, linear algebra x linear algebra and uh, polynomials and roots okay so the using um, using keyword it's just the same as import uh, in python that sort of thing okay cool so yeah so let's get started so i've got a matrix i'm going to call it m and um one zero zero uh minus one dub two then two and then four three five so that's my matrix right and uh, what i need to do now is i need to uh, find the inverse and then the determinant. So linear algebra X and linear algebra, they're two different modules. So the X stands for exact, like exact figures. I'll show you, I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so start off with the inverse, inv, then m. Okay, so this linear algebra module will give you floating point floating point numbers. Okay, and then inv then m. Sorry, inv x m okay so you get rational numbers okay so um 3.25 is just 13 over 4 you know that sort of thing okay right uh so that's um the inverse so I'll look for the determinant determinant m right and then if i do det x m you just get four and then obviously that's a floating point number okay right um so i've done the inverse the determinant so i need to do the characteristic polynomial so car then poly m actually let me do it this way let me assign that to a variable so z equals car poly m there we are so that's all polynomial okay and then um to find the roots, yeah, I'll just type in roots uh, z. So they're just they're the same as uh, the uh, eigenvalues. So eig vowels m. Okay, right, and then um, so my eigenvectors. So eig vec vex. They're the eigenvectors. And now I need to find um, the the trace. So trace. Oh, sorry, T R M. So that's the sum um, of the diagonal entries. So five plus two plus one. Okay, right. So that's my trace. And then um, do the row register echelon form. So R R E F X. And there we are. And then finally we'll do the transpose. Transpose. M. Cool. So yeah, so it's just um, my very first video with Julia and uh, hopefully you guys find this um, very helpful. Okay, cool. So yeah, on a side note guys, uh, please do subscribe. Yeah, and I'll do a lot more videos with Julia. So I'll pretty much just uh, copy previous videos with different softwares. Okay, cool. Cheers. Bye-bye.